when I got involved in insurance, I was proposed to sell real estate, I was proposed to sell mortgages, and I attempted to do both. I mean, my first uh, binder in uh, taking notes was a loan officer card as well as an insurance mm-hmm. card. Were you never attracted to real estate? Were you never attracted to mortgages? I'll tell you one thing. So I had a client of mine. I go to Valencia to his house. He's 61 years old, Armenian guy. And I go to his house, million and a half dollar home, view the valley, canyon country, all this stuff you're looking at in Valencia all the way down. And, and I'm selling him an insurance policy. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering if maybe real estate was the way to go. And I made a mistake. I said, how long have you been in real estate? I've been in real estate for 40 years. So that's great. This is a Saturday night, we're having dinner. And at nine o'clock, he says, okay, guys, I gotta go to sleep early. I said, why do you have to go to sleep early? Because I'm working tomorrow morning. Why are you working tomorrow morning? I'm showing po- properties. And I'm like, you're showing homes on a Sunday morning after 40 years, yes. And more and more people I talked to within the real estate space, anybody that had been for 30 years, most of them had a divorce two or three. But every decade, you would have a divorce and you'd have one or two or three bankruptcies. Why? So right now, I consult for a lot of these real estate mortgage companies at David Consulting. So we see what's going on in different industries because I see what's going on with transportation, yeah. with numbers being down 70%, you know, and real estate wow. uh, loan applications are at a 27-year low, and real estate sale, according to Wall Street Journal, is at a 20-year low, so these guys went from making 100 grand a month to 200 grand a month, 50 grand a month to making three, five, 10, 15 thousand dollars a month. How are you surviving? So, and and how many of these guys, Matt? You know this mm-hmm. in sales. If you make a million a year, okay. So you made a million this year. You made 600 a year before. You made 300 a year before. You made 100 a year before. Sure. When you get to a million, do the people live as if they're making 300, or do they upgrade their life as if they're making a million? 1.2. They upgrade their <laughs> life as, as if they're making 1.2. But then here's what happens next. If you go from 1.2 yeah. to 120 grand a year, oh. what do you do then? Oh. Actually think about it. Yeah. What do you do then? I just received three text messages from somebody selling cars, from a Lambo, a G-Wagon, and a Ferrari, all mortgage and real estate people. How do you make it happen? Yeah. So now wives are selling their Chanel purses, they're selling their Louis, they're selling their art that they bought that they knew nothing about, they're selling their exotics because they gotta get rid of it, They're trying to get rid of suits, shoes. They're trying to sell belts on eBay. Uh, So yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, yeah, real estate is not for me. At Bally's, many of us at Bally's, when we were selling memberships, we know we were leaving. Mm -hmm. Someone to real estate, someone to loans, someone to solar. I went insurance. The beginning five years, three years, the Mm -hmm. mortgage real estate guys beat me. But long term, I mean, at the end, it wasn't even... A conversation. So to me, that's one of the reasons why I wasn't going to do real estate and mortgages as a career investment. We're in the process of right now buying multiple properties, 20 acres of land, 300,000 square feet, all this stuff. I'm for it for investment. I'm not for it for a career. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.